Recently, the British government placed a subsidy on solar panels. A subsidy is an amount paid per unit sold, financed by government or any other public body to encourage the supplier to produce. In this case, the government pays solar panels creator money in order for them to create more. In the following diagram, we explain what happens to the market of solar panels after placing the subsidy. So this is the market after the su subsidy is placed onto the solar industry market. So the, su the subsidy paid make a supply curve shift to the right by this right arrow. And here, the bottom arrow is pointing is the distance of the subsidy. After the subsidy, subsidy is placed, now there is a new equilibrium from P to P1, which is over here. But but then now, because the government is paying this amount of money over here, indicated by the bottom arrow, so now the producer is also getting a price of P2. This then increases the surplus of the producers. This also helps the, the consumers out because now as the solar industry's price dropped on the market, they will have to pay lower at the price of P1. So this is a deal that helps both parties, both the suppliers and the consumers. Just by saying, so consumer surplus is the extra satisfaction the consumer party gets from paying less for a good or service than he or she will, was willing to pay. And producer surplus is the extra satisf satisfaction and enjoyment that the supplier party gets from selling a good or service for a price that's higher than expected. Now let's go on to the evaluation. Solar panels transfer energy created by the sun into electricity. This is a substitute for electricity created with fossil fuels. Solar power is harmless for the environment. While electricity created through fossil fuels is not. The increase in supply of solar power will lead to a decrease in the price of solar power. This eventually will lead to the increase in demand of solar power. This increase in demand for solar power will lead into a decrease of electricity made for the use of fossil fuels. Despite the fact that the government is, loses money financing this, solar panels are the perfect substitute for electricity made through use of fossil fuels. It is better for the environment and it is a one-time payment which is less expensive than monthly electricity bills.